The 19th ranked Boston University Terriers had an opportunity to make program history at Nickerson Field on Saturday afternoon against Lafayette. In a game that was surprisingly even in the first quarter, Cal Durth and Adam Schull scored early goals to make it 2-1 Terriers. Hilburn with space, it's Durth who ties the game. Against Harvard on Tuesday night. Burr's got it now. Swings one for Shaw. Shaw has had a lot of success in this matchup against Lafayette through the years. Shaw moving in, shoots one, got through, and it's it for a 2-1 Terriers lead. Lafayette answered and tied the game at two. The game was tied at three when Kevin Lewis scored with just a minute and three seconds left in the quarter to give the one and six Leopards the lead going to the second. But the second frame was all Terriers. Hayden Ruiz started the scoring, tying the game just a minute into the quarter. Cycles around for Ruiz. Ruiz, bounce shot, scores! Then after the game remained tied for seven minutes, Jack Wilson tallied his second goal of the game. Myers out for Wilson, scores! Up for right 90, Jack Wilson. And the Terriers the lead back at 5-4. BU would take a 7-4 lead before a decisive sequence when Brendan Holmeyer, Ryan Hilburn, and John McClain would score three goals in 25 seconds to give BU a 10-4 lead. Holmeyer will touch into the box for BU. Fakes the pass, comes around, it scores! Number seven for Hobeyer, it's 8-4, Terriers. Face off, Stuckey gets it to Durth. Hilbert, what a run for the Terriers, 9-4 BU. It's the pass for Hobeyer, who just scored moments ago. Hobeyer for McLean, he comes around, rips one and scores. 10-4 BU as McLean the freshman gets on the board. It would be an 8-0 run before Lafayette would finally get back on the board. But at that point, it was too late as BU held on for a 15-7 win to set a program record with its ninth win of the season, moving to 9-1. After this homestand, BU is on the road for two straight games next Saturday at Lehigh and then in two weeks at Army before returning home on April the 15th to take on Loyola.